A Milton man with an extensive criminal history is off the streets and back in the Santa Rosa County Jail. As WKRG News 5's Daniel Smithson explains, body cam footage shows the man leading deputies on a high speed chase before his arrest and per usual, the sheriff has some choice words to describe the suspect. Today I'm going to tell you a story and it's about this scumbag and I'm being polite here by calling him that. Strong words by Santa Rosa County Sheriff Bob Johnson Tuesday morning about 29 year old Mark Freight, who Johnson says is a habitual felony offender. He has 36 felony charges, 10 misdemeanor charges. Back on May 3rd, we arrest him because he gets into an argument with his significant other, punches her in the face multiple times, knocks out a tooth, busts her nose, then decides to choke her. After all that, he texts the daughter of the lady that he beat up and says, hey, on the way to your house, going to burn it down with you in it to a 13 year old girl. Great guy. Freight was released on a GPS monitor, but he cut it off and violated the conditions of his release. He was pulled over Friday near Milton. He's doing about 100 when he runs that red light with a two year old unrestrained in the car. Johnson says Freight was eventually caught and charged with battery, fleeing police, resisting arrest, plus additional charges, including lewd and lascivious behavior with a child. Multiple victims, all under the age of 16, that were, um, I'll just say, touched inappropriately. Freight remains in the Santa Rosa County Jail on a $1.7 million bond. And hopefully that doesn't get lowered because he doesn't need to be out. He really doesn't. He needs state prison is what he needs. In Milton, Daniel Smithson, WKRG News 5.